Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I am at Pilgrim Memorial State Park at Plymouth, Massachusetts. And yes, this is where the Plymouth Rock is. They also have a reproduction of the original Mayflower and some other things in the park that they have here. So let me show you around. This tells about the Mayflower. And they have what they call a museum shop. Well, that was just a gift shop. Let's see what this one is. So the museum is the Mayflower 2. There's a man working on something up there. And you can go up into the boat. You see some people right there. And it is much smaller than you would imagine. <laughs> Lots of other boats around it here in the bay. And here are the tickets you can get. So I'm going to go on to the ship here. Got some type of a small cannon here. And this is going inside. Hello. How are you today? Down to the tiller and that connects to the rudder in the back of the ship. Very simple three-part lever system. One piece moves, the rest of it moves, which is why it's called a whip staff. If you weren't holding on to this and something hits the rudder in the back of the ship, whoosh, this would whip you in the face. So that means that the helmsman, the person steering the ship, had to man deck. And the dining room. And this is, I guess, where they keep the ropes. And I'm going to go on the upper deck. And not much up here. There's another third deck. And this is inside the back of the ship. There's the navigator's cabin. There's their bell. And there's the man working on something up there. And that's the lookout cage. They arrived here December 16 with 102 people. And that harsh winter, <laughs> they lost half their crew, so they ended up with just 52. So December was the worst time of the year to get here in Massachusetts. So this is the bottom deck. And the back side of the bottom deck, they got a cannon. Big room here. Yeah. And sadly, the first winter in North America, half the passengers died of illness. So that floor below us is the cargo hold. The reason there are animals on this deck is because the cargo hold is filled with supplies. We have some tools down there to represent what the tools would look like, would look like on the ship. We got a box down there with some equipment used to build houses. That's a fouling gun, actually, the very long musket there. It fires bird shot to hit birds. So in, six, so in 1621, when the pilgrims are hunting wild birds for their harvest feast, which is Nintendo is the first Thanksgiving in North America. It's probably with a long gun somewhere there. I don't see how they close these windows. There must have been some other attachment to shut the windows. I got dibs on this sleeping quarters. Let's see how I sleep. This is the front end of the lower deck 
I wonder how accurate the recreation of the boat is. Well, that's about it for the ship, folks. Here's one last wide overlook of it. The ship's well built, and the crew is fit. You should get through most of that storm, unless you run into the storm, nobody's going to get through it. And the bottom of it here. And this is to the left of the boat, boat being the Mayflower 2. And there's a beach, very muddy looking beach, and very rocky. No sand here. There's where you can get down. Right in town, that looks like a hotel. Various stores and restaurants around here. They have a nice park. And right beside the park is the Plymouth Rock. Let's go take a look at that. Here's some info you can read if you want. And they have this big <laughs> structure protecting the rock which is right down here and it is about I'm guessing five feet wide and maybe four feet from top to bottom I wonder when the 1620 inscription was put in now you may have heard that the crack in it here was at one point they tried to move the rock to another location and that didn't work so <laughs> they just brought it back here and if you want to know the significance of the rock you can look that up in wikipedia and the park continues on the other side of the rock so I got the ticket that gets me in all three locations that they have. And this one is called the Plymouth Patuxent Village. So this is a map of the place, the village. This is one of the Indians that they bed up with. And this is supposed to be his hut. It's made out of tree bark, so it should be pretty strong. Don't know what's in it, but the Indian got it padlocked. <laughs> so this is the village where the people lived. And here, this looks like some kind of a community building. It's pretty large. Let's go in. It's one big room. Bunch of benches. Well, it's a fort to defend their village from the Indians. Well, let's go take a look upstairs. And up here we've got six cannons. Pretty good sized ones. Otherwise, it's just one big room. Really good, strong roof. And gives you a good look out to the village where the people live in their own homes. I'm going down there next. This first one, the roof looks like some kind of plant. Can't tell just what it is. And inside is a bed, dining table, fireplace, what you would expect from a one-room home. This looks like a breastplate. 
And this home is much bigger. And again, the roof looks like it's made from dried out some kind of plants. Whatever that is, it's the dirt floor, table, and not sure what that is. Nice big chair and big piece of furniture. Wow. Only one bed and a baby bed. Another fireplace and the big chest. The backyard's got a garden here and a fence. So that's a two room home with a separate bedroom. And this one has a much different roof made out of slats of wood. It's a one room home. This one's got a chimney. I'm not going to go inside the others. They're pretty much the same. It's got a garden back here and some kind of a small building there. So it looks like each home grew their own fruits and vegetables. So there's 12 homes on the row here. And each one is a little different. Different types of roofs mainly. So after seven years here, they had 65 children. This tells about the gardens. This house has got from the 1620s a mirror. <laughs> An almost full length mirror, how about that? By the way, <laughs> I don't know if it's obvious, but everything here is a recreation. It's not like they <laughs> were able to keep the original buildings from 400 years ago. And here's a scarecrow from the 1600s. And here they've got one big barn. And they do have some live animals in here. Actually, those are the only two animals I see. Just a couple goats. One eating and one sleeping. But it does have three different cages. And they've got some modern buildings too. Well, now I'm going to go to the third location, which is a couple miles from here. This place is about three miles from the Mayflower. So here is the grist mill and they put it here so it can be water powered. Very nice landscaping here. They must have a cafe. People are sitting at tables on the second level. So let's go in and take a look. This is downstairs. This shows the water operation. Water is coming out both sides of the building. Here's their menu. Here's some information about the grist mill. Here's a shot from the bottom. And here's the water flowing down into the creek. And this is the back of the building. 
And they've got their menu out. Well, folks, if you're coming through Plymouth, those are three things you definitely want to see while you're here. Good day, folks.